Hello everybody, my name is Shelly. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited you guys are here. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, okay, so I had a little bit of a BH Cosmetics haul. BH Cosmetics is a brand that is pretty darn economical. I first saw them, I want to think I started seeing them at like a TJ Maxx, a Marshalls, a Ross, a Burlington, one of those types of discount stores. I saw them there and I didn't really know much about the brand. Then I noticed that you can get a lot of the brand, a lot of the products actually at Ulta. So then I realized they had a website <laughs> and their prices are really, really good. So this was December 5th that I ordered this. So it's been a little bit now by the time this video goes up, but I spent a total of, I spent $100. I spent hundred dollars and 42 cents on this and the sheer quantity of stuff I got were crazy. I had to, I had to find things that I didn't already have. Now I can tell you this particular brush set right here. This is the midnight festival brush set. This is now my third set of these. I like these brushes so much. This set of brushes went for $10 and 80 cents. Like I said, I've bought them several times now. Comes in a cute little stand in case you need a brush stand. I don't know where my other ones are. They've got to be around somewhere. Anyway, the brushes are phenomenal. This is a huge set of brushes. How many are in here? There's 10 brushes in here and a stand for $10.80. Do the math. These have held up better than Morphe brushes or ColourPop brushes. I don't have any issues with these and they're, they're really fun. They're a pretty color and they're a good quality. I'm just, I'm shocked that you can get brushes that are this nice for this price. I'm just gonna grab I have like the powder brush here. Sorry, it's still can make noise. I'm not always a pink lover, but the the it makes me smile. This is the number one brush. And it's like an angled, fluffy, I don't know. I just really like these brushes. So that's what started it. I was like, oh, well, I'll check and see what they have on sale. You know, what, what's their sale thing? And I'm like, oh, they have the brushes I like. And they don't always have these. Sometimes they sell out. So that was an add to cart. This is a whole, a whole example of add to cartness. Okay, so then while I was looking at brushes, I went, okay, well, there's this really pretty crystal set. And the crystal set is crystal quartz, $11.60. So let's take a look at these. I don't have these. This is supposed to be a whole set of brushes with the cosmetic, or with a case. Oh, okay. This kind of holographic case reminds me of the Huda Beauty, or yeah, Huda? Yeah, Huda had their mystery cases were like, holographic -y kind of thing. Oh my gosh, a lot of brushes in here. These ones are white. They kind of look like uh, either the Morphe Jaclyn Hill ones or the uh, ColourPop brushes are kind of like this too. So this one has, this one has 12 brushes and a makeup case with some silica in it. And the makeup case is like a faux crocodile holographic. It actually feels really sturdy. I'm very impressed by this. I, this isn't one that I'm gonna get um, like a, a decent sized palette in, but if I were traveling with, like this would be easy to throw in, you know, some of these wet and wild eyeshadow palettes or the e.l.f. little bite sized palettes. The um, Bambi collection, if I wanted to throw one and one or two of those in there, easily that size and a lot of everything else. I think I could I could use this as a travel case. This might actually be one that would really work well for a desk drawer or a car maybe, this type of size. I'm kind of a product lover, so I don't know that it would be enough for me. I could maybe use it for like an overnight trip or a quick work trip. I don't tend to use as many products when I'm traveling for work, but this actually has a nice weight to it. It feels really, feels really nice. What does it say? Enchant your beauty routine with our crystal quartz 12 piece brush set. Collection of top quality synthetic face and eye brushes that can be used with liquids, creams, and powders to create a rainbow of magical effects. Okay. I get it. Anyway, $11.60 for that brush set. Did I need any burn brushes? No, I wash them. I do a pretty good job of washing the brushes, but then I had to buy more. This one is the Metal Rose. Look at that. That actually, this looks like the one that came with Corda Rosa. Corda Rosa from Sigma had a case kind of like this. And how many brushes are in here? These look a little bit like the Corda Rosa brush brushes. Okay, so this one has 11 in this set right here. They look a little different than the other two. The brushes are almost like kind of yellowed on the ends and the bristles seem to be more brown, where the other ones seem to be a little bit more lighter colored. This one says, create full face looks with like a pro with this Metal Rose 11 piece brush set. Ultra soft synthetic brushes, work with liquids, creams, and powders for your flawless. $11.20. So I just now, between those three sets, 
I have two cosmetic pack pouches, which would pretty much solve my makeup travel needs. And 33, 33 brushes for like less than $33. That's, that's insane. And because I couldn't leave well enough alone, I also picked up the travel series, which is, comes in a little pouch again. This one I don't think has as many brushes in it. No, this, these brushes reminded me, ooh, throwing them around here. These brushes reminded me of the Luxie brushes. Like maybe a little paler. Uh, this one has one, two. This one has seven brushes in another pouch. I didn't need the extra pouches. I really didn't. Frankly, didn't even need the brushes. But so this is the travel series. It's seven piece face and eye brush with bag. So it's technically eight pieces. It says the Wanderlust is real when it comes to the travel series. Face and eye essential brushes are, let's see, are packed with plush synthetic brushes, flawless vacation and staycation vibes. Each ergonomic vegan brush blends, sculpts, and diffuses effortless precision and plays well with liquid cream and powder uh, formulas. Complete with a travel sized carrying pouch, you'll be ready to jet set in no time. I got sucked into the travel thing, but the brushes I thought were really pretty too. So this travel series, seven dollars. A dollar a brush. You guys, all of these are like a dollar a brush. I'm not saying they're Sigma, Ruffer, Wayne Goss quality of brushes. I I've never tried a Wayne Goss brush. I do have some Sigma brushes and I like them, but for the price, I have no problem replacing, replacing brushes with these. So why the travel series, shall? Well, because I love BH Cosmetics travel series palettes. I have a bunch of them already. I'm not going to lie. I have a bunch of them already, but I picked up a few more because, well, they had a good deal. I'll tell you the prices. You're going to be shocked here. First thing is not an eyeshadow palette, but this is the Glowing in Greece face palette. I've never been to Greece. I've been to the Mediterranean-ish, but I've never been to Greece. I, I should go to Greece. Anyway, I thought the blush shades were really pretty. They're very much leaning towards these apricot, uh, coral colors. You do have three that are shimmery and three that are matte. These three are more on the shimmery side. I would use them as a blush topper, not necessarily as a full-on blush because I don't like to get too much texture in, into the, te like, the shiny stuff in the texture. It's just no bueno. These mattes down here. I got into orange blushes last summer. And I'm kind of ready for summer. Okay, this price, $5.95 is what I paid for this. I didn't feel bad. I got all this stuff and it was literally just so inexpensive. Okay, the next one, the, I think the, the rest of these are eyeshadow palettes. So this one is Lost in Los Angeles, $5.95. It's a rainbow palette. It's a pastel palette. Two things that I don't always gravitate towards, but for spring or summer, imagine with a tan, dark skin, you do have one neutral matte and then you've got some other mattes in here that you know, you can work with. It doesn't have a grounding shade for me, like a dark, rich, chocolatey brown, espresso brown, or a, you know, dark gray, or a dark, like a almost black. It doesn't have that. But I might be able to come up with something interesting with this. Whether I would be something that I would leave the house in as a lady of a certain age, time will tell. So if you guys want me to come back in, this would be a challenge for me, to come up with three looks that I like. But for $5.95, I think they're accent colors that I think would be really useful in, particularly like if, a, if you have a matte neutral palette. Okay, next one, one of my favorite cities, Paris. Let's look, what's the price on this? Passion in Paris, $5.95. You know who loved this palette? Angelica and Jessica and Yeshka, Sweden. She goes by all three, I think. But this is gorgeous, deep, rich, jewel tones. This has, again, a transition shade or two that I love, some darker shades here to really ground the look. Love it. That also work as liners. Then you've got some gorgeous shimmers. This, you know, while it looks like a largely purple blue eyeshadow, leans more on the cool tone, you know? I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm inspired by this one. This is so this is the Passion Paris, five dollars ninety five cents. Love Paris. I think I mentioned that earlier. Next one is called Tanned in Tulum. This is, sorry, I, I didn't mean to not have these in order. So the, the Glowing in Grace and the Tanned in Tulum, this is your bronzer palette to go along with the blush palette. Did I have been to Tulum? Anyway, these look like just gorgeous bronzy shades. Now you do have two real shimmery type bronzers and then four mattes. I tend to lean more towards the matte ones, especially if I'm doing any kind of contouring. Sometimes helpful to do as a lady of a certain age. Anyway, Tan and Tulum was $5.95. Okay, and then St. Tropez. This is summer in St. Tropez. Tropez, 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 right? $5.95 another summer palette. Now this one is seems to be immensely more wearable than the LA palette. They're, they are different. This is like the older big sister or older cooler cousin than LA. Although LA does have this really fun like Kelly green in here. 
I don't really use that shade too much, but I'm kind of kind of intrigued. I wonder what it would look like because I love greens. What would a true Kelly green look like? But this one, you know, gosh, I can't seem to get away from these gold. Gold, you've got one, two, you get two golds in here. Although this one looks like it might be a little, have like a green shift to it. This turquoise, red, red eyeshadow. Wow. This has some, some fun, unexpected colors. I, I think I'm pretty inspired by St. Tropez, St. Tropez, St. Tropez. Saint Tropez? Saint Tropez. I've been saying it wrong. Sorry. You know how you know when somebody's a reader? They don't know how to pronounce anything. So Saint Tropez. We're gonna go with that. Okay. And then uh, I have two more eyeshadow palettes. Yeah. Okay. So both of these are ones that I've had others that are like this size before and they're not my favorite, but they're not the worst either. So my least favorite pans in uh, an eyeshadow palette are the long skinny rectangular ones. Don't love those. I like a nice big fat square one, frankly. Sometimes a large round one, like the other ones, I don't even notice them. If I don't notice them, we're perfectly fine. These ones are a little itty bitty. So the first one is called Flower Power. There are so many shades in here, but they're itty bitty. Like this is a normal brush for me and it pretty much covers the entire thing. So I guess the good thing is, is I'm not gonna have to worry about taking too long to pan it if I were to pan something like this. This one does lean a little bit more on your kind of, you know, purpley, mauvey, violet, lavender type colors, but you have a number of browns in here, which I like a warm brown with a purple. Frankly, that's one of my favorite kind of combinations, especially if I'm doing purple. This one, $2.40. Okay, and then the other one was the Calori Vivace, $2.40. Might as well be free. Now, Again, the problem is, is that it's little tiny things, but how fun are those colors? Yes, it's a rainbow palette, but I would rock a fuchsia or a lipstick pink with these browns. Absolutely. Some of these kind of mermaidy colors, kind of fun. Again, the golds. Every palette these days has like a gold shimmer in it, doesn't it? You need to get away with that. You know what they don't have in them? Not a single one of these has a press glitter, so yay on that one. Okay, and this is one that I've been looking at for a very long time. I just could not convince myself I needed it until I saw this on sale. Price for this one, this was the most expensive of all the palettes, $6.30. Blueberry Muffin. Now, I think this one is an older palette, been around for a while, but the colors are really beautiful. It reminds me of the Paris palette. Let's just look at these side by side. Okay, similar, but not quite. I feel like the Paris palette might be a little bit more richer, frankly. Has this, a few more darker shades in it. It does have like more of a burgundy, whereas this has more of, I mean, like you've got a gray, you've got a more brown, you've got this kind of apricot color, but it is similar down here. So they're very similar color stories, but they don't look like true dupes, which I'm glad for because, you know, I don't really want to spend my money twice, even if it is the cost of a cup of coffee. This is a lot of stuff, right? I forgot about this, another brush kit. This one, however, I did not choose. I didn't get any of these Say It palettes. <coughs> Some of them were a little offensive even for me. Okay, so this was the Say It brush collection. This is a brush pouch. So yay, another another, <laughs> another cosmetic pouch. Probably didn't need to sit there, but this is only six pieces and this is just strictly eyeshadows. This is one that they sent me for free. I think it was a gift with purchase. When you spend a certain amount of money, you get, so these ones are free. Smudge, Smoke, Pack, Shade, Blend, and Diffuse are the names of these. It's kind of cute. And I don't mind the canvas case. I can tell you that all of the cases that they sent, none of them were feel super chintzy and cheap. They actually feel pretty nice. That one says six piece eye brush set with bag. How do you want to slay today? Be a show off with say it. Six piece eye brush set with bag and mix of essentials to line define blend and smudge just the way you like it. Boasting all white handles and super soft black vegan bristles, black tagged handles, uh, plus a logo zipper pouch to keep your brushes locked up with all your emotive palettes. You'll always be able to wear your mood loud and proud. I didn't buy any of their emotive palettes, but this was free, free size. So they had more brushes, right? And then I picked up two more things these little guys right here. I've got Goddess in black and Goddess in green. My favorite eyeliner shades, I would probably go with like a navy blue, a bronze, dark brown, and maybe a green. This is liquid. I'm scared. Oh, wow, that feels great. That's really pretty. Oh, okay. And then I have a black one because apparently I needed more black liquid eyeliner. I think I have some on. No, I don't have any on right now. And this is the black. This component looks so much like, do I have it in here? Yeah, so this is the the NYX component from their Casa de Papel Money Heist collaboration. So that's what this one looks like. It's a thicker, this is a little bit more yellow gold. And these are the Doja Cat collaboration. I forgot about that. Doja Cat, Goddess, so green, and that's the only thing I bought from the Doja Cat collab. Green, 
and black liquid liner. Okay, let me do a final run through on my BH haul. One, two, three, four, five eye brush sets. So five eye brush, eye brush sets. One, two, three, four, four zippered pouches, one plastic pouch, and then two eyeliners, eight palettes, eight, eight palettes. One of them a uh, blush palette, one of them a bronzer palette, and then the other six eyeshadow palettes. Some of them rainbow palettes, one of them, a couple of them, a little on the scary side. So I guess what I'm trying to say is if you see BH Cosmetics um, and you are growing a collection because either you're a lover of makeup and you're a lover of color and you're a lover of, of being creative using makeup and your lifestyle warrants being creative, I, I'm, I stand behind the BH lines. I think BH is probably up there with some of my more favorite of the super economical. I feel like you get a little bit of kick up, but the color stories are fun. They're fun. They're they're fun. They're fun palettes, right? They're fun color stories. I want, I want to travel. I don't know anybody that's summered in St. Tropez. Have you? <laughs> Where do you guys want to go? I like the, the travel series. It's kind of fun. I do have a number of the other palettes from it. These are not the all, all the other of my BH palettes, but there's some of them. Smitten in Switzerland. Love that. Love in London. I love London. Beautiful in Barcelona. I think all four of these are the ones with the tiny little pans on it to go along with the uh, Calori Vivace and the Flower Power. We're going to throw in Illusion. This one is Romantic Nomad, Midnight City, and Digital Future. I think Digital Future is really pastel-y. If any one of these were like, oh my gosh, I was intrigued, I'm interested, I want to do more, or I have it and I haven't touched it, let me know and I'll come back and let's put together some looks. Let's do two or three looks with the BH stuff and we can talk about the quality. If my my understanding is the quality is very consistent with these palettes. So we'll try it. 100 bucks. 100 bucks with all this stuff, man. So if you're going to give somebody a gift card <laughs> to a cosmetic brand, maybe BH Cosmetics because I think the dollars will go a lot further. Anyway, and that's it for today's video. I hope you guys are doing really well. I'm excited to play with this kind of stuff. I feel like I've got like a whole collection. <laughs> well, I mean, I have a collection, but now I feel like I've got like a whole wardrobe of eyeshadows to play with. So I hope you guys are doing really well. And until my next video, bye for now.